I welcome presidential candidate for the GOP nomination, Vivek Ramaswamy. Welcome. Good to see you. Let's, it's good to see you, Harris. And thank you for sharing your story of your father. Of I appreciate that. It was moving. Thank you. Um, you've got a story, too. And you want America to be part of your story. How do you hold the line? Well, I think what I see in the country today, Harris, is something very different than when those World War II soldiers in the United States actually landed on Normandy Beach. Then we had a cause and a purpose. But today, my generation, and I'm the first millennial ever to run for U.S. president as a Republican, my generation is hungry for purpose and meaning and identity. We're starved for a cause. And so we turn to the poison instead. Pick your favorite one, wokeism, transgenderism, climatism, covidism, the list goes on. But sometimes we focus on that too much. Those are just symptoms of our deeper black hole, our void of purpose and meaning. And I think what we need to do, Harris, is what you began to talk about. Fill that void of purpose and meaning with what it actually means to be an American today. Let's answer that question, answer it with pride, without apology. That's what young people, all people across this country are hungry for. Let's deliver that answer of what it means to be an American. Let's stop just running from something. We are running to something. Once we restore that, we actually restore that civic pride that this day is all about celebrating. You know, Vivek, I've been hearing you talk really the last couple of days about China. And uh, it, it is pretty remarkable, the devices that are coming our way um, that are going to anesthetize people to reality. But I'm curious to get your take now on what the Biden administration, what particularly this president is doing with regard to really what's turned out to be our greatest enemy. Yes. So I think that the number one enemy for the United States is absolutely communist China. I think the first thing we need to do is actually declare economic independence from China. If that had been a Chinese spy balloon traveling over half the, if that had been a Russian spy balloon traveling over half the United States, we would have shot it down instantly and ratcheted up sanctions against Russia. The reason we didn't, in part because it was a Chinese balloon, is because we're dependent on our enemy for our modern way mm. of life. And that's a threat we haven't faced in our history. So that's the number one problem here. And then the number two problem is I think we're focused on the wrong wars, actually driving through the Ukraine war, Russia, into China's hands. And I think that Russia-China alliance is the single greatest military threat that we face. And Harris says, Commander in Chief, that's my top foreign policy priority, is to drive that wedge between Russia and China, like Nick Nixon did in 1972. Mm -hmm. I think we can do it in reverse this time again. R real quickly, because I want to press in on what you're saying about Ukraine. That is that is such a um, a sticking point for so many people politically in this country right now. Some people don't want to touch it at all. They don't know what to say about it. Uh, and, and others say that we're being lied to about it. Mm -hmm. Well, look, actually, we are being lied to in a very literal sense. The Biden administration today, The Washington Post is reporting, knew that Ukraine was actually planning to bomb the Nord Stream pipeline. Mm -hmm. Knowing that even three months beforehand, the Biden administration then called it, effectively pinned the blame on Putin and said it was an intentional act of aggression. So the lies are now mounting up, lies including about even having U.S. troops on the ground. But I think it's the wrong priority. I'm focused on China. That's where our focus needs to be. All right. I'm going to let you go with this. Uh, the RNC just put out its qualifications for the debate. Right now, you're on track to make the debate stage. You're in the top five in the last uh, Fox News yeah. polling. You were at 4%. Your last quick thought. Well, we're on that debate stage, actually. We qualified over three months before the actual debate was set. And I think that's going to be good for our party. I'm not going to be holding back. We're going to define <laughs> the agenda that's good for the Republican Party and good for the country. And I'm looking forward to August. Vivek Ramaswamy, thank you. Good to see you. Thank well, you, Harris. House Republicans are finally moving to hold FBI Director Christopher Wray in contempt.